Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Scents of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Jacques Bogart. It's a fragrance that I reviewed a long time ago in the very early stages of my channel. The video never really got a lot of recognition or views uh, back then, you know, and, and neither did any of the videos that I made for that matter, aside from a handful of them. But, you know, it didn't matter. I wanted to keep plugging away. But this is one that I've worn a lot since that video, and I really wanted to make its own review. It was featured in my four best fragrances from Jacques Bogart. It's one of my favorites, favorites from the house. It came out in 1993. It's classified as an aromatic green fragrance. It is O oh, Fresh by Jacques Bogart. Here you can take a look at the bottle and the box. Um, I've got two different versions of the fragrance here. So as we do in all of my individual reviews, we're gonna break down the fragrance into five parts. First, taking a look at its box and bottle presentation. Then I'll go over the fragrance's notes, talk about its performance based on the experience wearing it that I've had, and of course, my opinions and thoughts, and then I'll give it a rating. And you know, again, guys, you know, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, or if you haven't done so yet, I really appreciate it. Check out the Instagram for a new and updates on the channel at Sense of South Jersey. Just search that and you'll find it. And of course, um, if you have a TikTok and you want something a little bit different, something fun, and you like champagne, check out Sabro88. Also, I'm going to start making mention of my Mercari page. It is just an outlet where you can purchase or even ask questions if you want about some discontinued vintage fragrances, stuff that's on there on my, on my, on my, um, you know, my listings, things that I enjoyed, but I'm not really wearing. Again, I wanna have stuff that I love and this is one of those fragrances. So let's take a look at Eau Fresh. Okay, let's take a look at the presentation for Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart. So first, let's take a look at the box. Um, here, I've got two boxes, two different versions of the fragrance. Um, you can see this is the 50 ml, this is the 100 ml too. So essentially, they look the same. This has more of a darker mint green, you know, Eau Fresh there, de Jacques Bogart, Paris, same thing, and that white line, and then the size and concentration. And again, it's an eau de toilette. This is a 50 ml, this one is 100 ml. On the top, you've got that... Um, green stripe. Now, if you look here, this has sort of like a ridge to the box where this one has fake ridges, but it's actually flat. It's very smooth on the back here. You've got, again, pretty much the same look, a little bit different brand information. You can see the differences in what they say there. This one, the smaller one, is um, distributed by Jacques Bogart, incorporated in New York, New York, 10019, made in France with the recycled material. And this one here, it says, distributed by French Fragrances Incorporated, Miami, Florida, 33169. Those are the zip codes, made, uh, USA, but made in France. So they're both made in France. Um, I think this one initially retailed for $39.50, so never very expensive. Still not that expensive of a fragrance. Let's take a look at the bottles. The 100 ml and the 50 ml. I just got this as a backup. Shout out to the subscriber who uh, sold this one to me, man. Thank you so much. I needed another backup because I finished the one I had. Um, so, you know, really cool looking bottle. Pretty much look the same. This has the smooth look to it. This has some sort of speckling on it. That is not from the fragrance. It doesn't wipe off. It, it just is there, I'm not sure too. Um, on the back, you can see the same type of thing. It's like it's pieced together there. The Bogart B is on the glass there and oh fresh size and concentration on the bottom you have the embossed glass here so this one just says made in france along with this one as well too so let's check out the distribution on these i have some on this hand here pretty good sprayer the 100 ml has got the b sprayer though that's crazy so really cool bottle i love the built-in sprayer this is one of my favorite looking bottles that that green see-through glass looks like you know, when you ever see like a beer bottle or broken glass at the beach and it's like the frosted like that, I really like that look. That's what it looks like. And you know, the color scheme is really cool too. Okay, let's take a look at the notes for Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart. There's a ton of notes here because again, it's an early 90s fragrance. So much like the 80s, they are loaded with notes. So just bear with me here. I've got to read them. There's no way I'm memorizing this. In the top, you have tarragon, grapefruit, amalfi lemon, pineapple, mandarin orange, anise, and galbanum. In the middle or heart of the fragrance, you have geranium, lavender, jasmine, rosemary, lily of the valley, nutmeg, and coriander. And then in the base, you have pine, oak moss, patchouli, and vetiver. So what I pick up on, especially in that opening, you know, that opening for this one is really where the fresh just pops. You get those citruses, you get that, I think, some of the pineapple, some of the lemon, some of the orange, and I think a little bit of the anise, because that gives a little bit of a kick and you can kind of get that in the back end of the opening. Once it's been on your skin for a while, I think the lavender, then the rosemary comes out because it is a green fragrance and it's got that smooth, you know, a little bit of a fougere style to it, aromatic green. Um, and the nutmeg and coriander, now that I was told by somebody has a, a different type of smell, maybe one that, that that person particularly didn't agree with, but 
I don't really get that. To me, it's just so fresh and clean. And in the base, I really get pine and oak moss too because it is a very green fragrance. Again, it's just lighter, fresher, hence the name. So the notes that I get are the citruses, I get the anise, I get the lavender, and I get some of the rosemary and then the pine and then the oak moss as well too. I don't really get any patchouli, thank God. I think that that would be bad for it. But again, that's how they made the scent. So those notes are in there. And in my opinion, that's what I pick up on. So when it comes to the performance for Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart, in my experience, I'm getting about six to seven hours. If you spray a lot of it on, on clothing too, maybe you'll make it a full work day. It is a fresher fragrance. It's not like the fresher fragrances now that last like two, three hours or anything like that. It's not a fully based citrus scent, which is good. The fact that they have those heavier green notes in there, some of the other different citruses, like the ones that you don't see, like a pineapple, maybe that adds a little bit of, of, of the longevity, but things like the lavender, the rosemary, you know, the pine and the oak moss, that's gonna boost the performance, I think, with this because they're stronger. Unfortunately, there is no body line. Um, you know, the, this version, uh, maybe the older one versus the one that's new, again, these are this is a discontinued scent too, so uh, there's no difference in the performance, nor is there a difference in the scent, as far as I know, uh, that I can tell. No body line for this, so it's just the eau de toilette performance I'm getting between six and seven hours. All right, it's time for my thoughts and opinions on Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart. So obviously it's, it's, it's known that I, I love this fragrance. I really enjoy it a lot. It's a scent that, uh, that is a favorite of mine from the house. It really is, it's, it's uplifting, it's fresh while maintaining that herbal green masculine classic vibe that I love. It's got the green notes in there, that, that citrus on top. It's very bright. It's nothing like a fresh fragrance that you think of today. It's not a shower gel scent, but it would be great after a shower. It's uh, it's going to be more bold, masculine than, you know, the the, the newer fragrances that come out. Um, you know, the, again, that opening is, is just so good. And, and I want to make it clear, there are no differences between these two scents. The scent, don't go chasing one or the other. It is still available. It is discontinued, but it's still available online on eBay. Maybe you're going to be spending $80 for a size this. Maybe Maybe 50 or less. Um, I would I would go find it, check it out. It's it's really really good. So if um, I could recommend a, a, a scent that that smells similar to that this smells similar to, it would be Van Cleef and Arpels Czar. So Czar is a much darker, greener, classic, more 80s classic style. Where this, in my opinion, is like the Czar Sport. If they came out with a Czar Eau de Sport, it would be Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart. They smell similar. Um, the opening with this one, here, I'll spray some of this Czar on this arm. Oh man, this is also awesome. But again, I'm gonna focus it on Eau Fresh. So Czar had come out with um, three fresh flankers. There's Czar Eau de Czar, um, there's Czar Cologne, and then there's one called Czar Cologne Citrus. I haven't tried that one, but I, I've owned Eau de Czar and I've owned Czar Cologne, both of which sucked. Czar Cologne smelled like just a big lemon. Um, Eau de Czar smelled like, like sour melon. I absolutely hated it. The original is the best one, but it's very expensive. However, this will give you the idea of what this smells like, but on a fresher, lighter take. It was able to do that to get you in the vein and family line of Czar without just being one big lemon scent, without just being solely focused on uh, a bright citrus. They infuse the oak moss, the pine, and all the other notes in there that, that make it a masculine classic style, but it still maintains that fresh vibe, that seasonal spring vibe that, that I love about this scent. It's really good. Um, performance is, is decent for what it is. It's safe for office wear, definitely, definitely daytime, definitely casual, um, you know, definitely, you know, uh, you know, daily scent would be cool if you wanted to make it a signature scent. I just wish it was more available because if it were, it's probably be a little bit less money. However, it hasn't gone into the price range where you look at it and you're like, ah, is it worth it? I think for the price that it's at, it's 100% worth it and you should definitely check it out. Um, sites like, you know, eBay and Mercari, they're going to have it. And, you know, again, it, as long as you make sure that, that it's not gone sour because there are a potential with this. However, every bottle I've got of, of this, I've never been sour. So I really wouldn't worry about that. It's, it's fantastic. And you could even wear this in the gym. I've worn it to the gym. It's a great fresh scent. It's going to smell good, set you apart. It's not going to be the, the average everyday blue shower gel fresh fragrance. This is a massive, this is a man's fresh scent. Oh, fresh by Jacques Bogart. You cannot go wrong. Okay, it's rating time for Eau Fresh, the Eau de Toilette by the house of Jacques Bogart. Presentation, I absolutely love it. I love the box, but I love the bottle even more. Just look at that again. Look at both of them. They're just so cool looking. The frosted green glass, the built-in sprayers, embossed glass on the bottom. I just like the writing, oh, fresh, you know, fresh to death. This stuff is great. Nine out of 10 for the presentation. The performance, 
I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I think that that's, that's fair. Um, and it's not favoring it because I love the scent so much. I think that that's you know, fair uh, for performance. So 6 out of 10 for, for performance. The scent itself, 8.5 out of 10. It is a scent that um, smells similar to something else that I love. But it, it stands alone on, on you know, reinventing it as a fresh fragrance but still masculine. But still keeping that green classic vibe that I love. So 8.5 out of 10 for the scent. The overall rating for Jacques Bogart's Eau Fresh Eau de Toilette by me is going to be an 8 out of 10. All right, so that's it. That's my review of Eau Fresh, the Eau de Toilette by the house of Jacques Bogart. So guys, I would love to hear from you. Tell me about your experience with this fragrance. Do you have it? Do you want to try it? Are you having trouble finding it? Do you love it or do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section. I really wanted to give it its own review. Um, it's one that I wear enough and I finally, no, now redoing it now, knowing more about fragrances in general, but having more experience with this one and not just getting it and reviewing it a day after. I've had it for a long time. I've gone through bottles. So again, I would love to hear from you guys. I always appreciate all the interaction. If you haven't done so yet, just make sure to subscribe, check out the Instagram, and if you want to, check out the TikTok. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.